this is where my watch would be but i don't have one it's officially six o'clock it's six o'clock p.m friday night the cannonball run has begun we are on a mission to make it to michigan So right now we are driving from Jasper to Banff through the Canadian Rockies. This is kind of a bucket list item for me. I always wanted to drive it in a special car at some point and we're in a GTR. It's a beautiful driving handling car and we're surrounded by beauty. The mountains are so beautiful that they don't look random. They look like art like someone put them here or like the artist who made them took attention to detail to make sure that they they were that good it's, it's awe-inspiring it just it leaves you feeling happy that there's more to life <laughs> maybe is, is the way to put it i'm i'm so thankful yeah, and I just wanted to share that with you guys because we're all car enthusiasts here. But one of the things that I like truly believe in is exploring and adventure and being able to see different parts of the world. And there's beautiful parts of the world everywhere. You don't have to like fly to Canada or across the country. You can find beauty in anything. But taking the time to like have that adventure and curiosity to see what's out there and experience it and to appreciate it um, is is really what life is all about. And that's that's what cars do. They enable you to do that. They they like, hey, you can get more than five kilometers from your house now because you don't have to walk. You can take a car. Cars themselves are just an extension of of the beauty that that can be in the world. So anyway, I just wanted to. Heart to heart, get real. Twelve twenty-two. Fill up and driver change. Seven thirty a.m. I've been driving all night, and now we're in Glasgow, Montana. The car has been officially imported into the U.S., so it is now a U.S. car. Um, I'm going to be driving. Kyle did a lot of the driving last night. The car's got so much wax on it, it's not even dirty from all this driving. We're getting breakfast. Okay, so to keep things interesting, we are going to be having a challenge. This is the first of maybe more. <laughs> As boredom sets in. Challenge number one, who can get the best fuel economy? The way we're doing yeah. it is we've been trading off, each person drives like four hours, which is about a tank of gas in this car, and then switching drivers to the next driver. So the results are in, we've got enough data points, and the winner is, drum roll, Kyle Leonard, <laughs> with an average speed of 95, in the middle of the night with a negative, negative five Celsius temperature at Oh, I apologize, that's the wrong. That's 16.1. No, the winner is at 105. Kyle Leonard again at... Seven. Okay, so just to sum that up, because that was <laughs> way more technical than anyone who wants to know cares. Drives you, faster. I drove... Sips more fuel. My fuel economy mm, no. is... My fuel economy... <laughs> so the, the reward for best fuel economy goes to Kyle with a fuel economy of 17.1 miles per gallon. Um, and second place goes <laughs> for fuel economy goes to me with an average fuel economy of 12? Yeah. Yours was 17 miles a gallon, mine was 12.9 miles per gallon? Yep, so 13. Thirsty, 13. she's thirsty. I how, like to sip how, my how, tea. How fast were you going? What was your average speed for that run? 105. What was my average speed? 130. <laughs> yeah. So and going we're, faster uses more gas. Who would have known? I think it was the cold in the mountains. <laughs> we're not tracking headwind, so I can't, we can't, you know, yeah, can't say that. Yeah, it's the it headwind. Be, yeah, it could be the headwind, you know. All right. Fuel, 
I can't believe this is a thing that we're like competing on now. But I was like, all the whole time, I was like, I'm gonna win. So, update to the fuel game. I don't even know what we're Fuel calling. game, it's, where are we at? Bam, Wyoming. we had really bad weather. It was warm, like it was like negative 10. It's like negative eight now. Negative, negative seven. Negative seven, warming up. Yep. And that I had to drive super slow because it was like slushy and like white out blowing snore. So I was doing like 60 to 80. Down with salt. Yeah, salt sucks. But 19 miles per gallon, 19.1 miles per gallon. Hyper miler. No. You are the thirsty gas guzzler now. And I am the hybrid electric future. <laughs> As we drive our 1990 Nissan GTR. That we're like, oh my god, we got 19 miles per gallon. <laughs> Driving way below the speed limit. Yeah, yeah. I just love how much. <laughs> That's, that's cool. That's efficiency, cooling efficiencies right there. Yep. We made it, we're back from the trip. We got, we have arrived and we made it safe and sound. We grabbed some showers, it's the first thing we did, and like a true car guy, look at what Kyle's doing. He's washing off the salt. He's, he's, he's washing the car in blistery snow storm weather because can't have salt on it for any, any length of time. <laughs> Should I grab a, a cloth and a chamois? Reaction video. Uh, we got everybody in the car that was yeah. around. What's it like shifting on the. Uh, Get used to it. Yeah, on your uh, left. Well, it's got pretty good torque in the snow. Whoa! <laughs> no, I can't do that with my van. <laughs> Are you hanging on, Chris? Please? Yes, I don't have Get your seatbelt on. Oh, Get your seatbelt on. Right. Don't put it in the ditch now. You've been driving all these miles. Hey guys. <laughs> I like this car because it's color blue. Eee! And this seat, if you ask me, it's hugging me. But this car is color blue. It's small, but... Oh my gosh. That was quick. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. oh oh my god oh my gosh oh <laughs> and plus it's snowing too so ah! oh my god you're joking right <laughs> That's fast. Here you go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, Nissan GTR, turn on the radio. Okay. Just wait a second. Oh, he's still going. perfume you're wearing this is the CD that came with the Nissan GTR this is it's I so don't JDM. think it, <laughs> it's so JDM <laughs> I have a feeling this CD is not from Japan though <laughs> I dropped off Kyle, I'm heading home. This is just the uh, last little bit of the trip. 
I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and checking everything out. Um, I do these videos just because I want to do fun stuff and remember it, but I love sharing it with you guys and you guys always have great comments and super positive, so I love hearing your feedback and kind of doing stuff that we both think is fun. Um, we're going to be putting this car up for sale soon-ish. We're going to do a couple more videos with it and a few more things. Um, and I want to just clean this car really well. I'm really looking forward to just detailing it and like getting in and cleaning the engine and the inside and just getting to know this car like really, really well in the little bit of time that we're going to own it. Um, we're most likely going to be selling, putting it up for sale at bringatrailer.com, which is a sweet website um, for selling enthusiast cars and pretty much everything on there is really awesome. I have their daily news, daily feed on my computer and I just, I see kind of what's going up for auction all the time and it's just, it's a, you can waste time there, just, it's fun. So anyway, if you wanna check it out, you totally should. Um, and if you're thinking about selling a car, if you have something that's sort of exotic and you know, dropping it on Kijiji or Craigslist is not maybe the best way to find the right buyer, check out bingatrailer.com. And if you want to list a car, use the, use, you can put a referral code in, use Brandon at octanemonkey.com. Other than that, thank you primates for making life awesome and go, go do awesome stuff.